Hey everyone, Red Wolf here, and I'm playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 today. So, this takes, I think, after Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, but I'm not 100% sure. But let's see how that goes. Anyway. For me, this TV gets really, really dark, so... I'm going to put it as bright as possible for you guys and for myself because, well, I've had issues with being able to see them. So, yeah. This reminds me of when I first got my Call of Duty Black Ops. So, yeah. I put it as wide as possible. Hopefully, it'll look good on the screen for you guys. But I have... Okay, this is a warning for anyone who's under the age of, let's say, 16 and below. You can't handle offensive items or content or whatever is going to appear. Don't stop watching now. So, I'm just going to read it off for you guys. I'm not sure if you can read it too well, but I'm going to anyway. Some players may find some gang con content in one of the missions disturbing or offensive. We should, like, no. No, I'm not really offended by anything, really. Eh. No. So, yeah. Wow, it actually keeps track of, track of how many hours I've d played. Okay, so it does pick up after Modern Warfare 2 ended and continue. Okay. So I was right. I, I do like the um picking up part because that's really entertaining. I'm going to recruit because that's all I can do because I suck so hard. Anyway, I'm just going to crank the volume a little. So I don't know. Sounds better. I'm going to adjust the screen now and again in case you can't see it. Shepard created a war, but only we knew the truth. Oh, that's right, they want a wall. Nikolai, you want to get so out of here? Yep. Yeah. I know a place. Yeah. Northern India? Huh, I didn't know that. Makes sense, though. I'm actually quite happy. I'm hopefully going to play the same person, but that's never a guarantee. Because I was Roach and then I'm Soap now, so there's always that question of am I going to be the same character or not? Yes! Awesome! <sighs> Sorry guys. Uh, a little sore. That was actually pretty cool though. Reminds me of when I went off, uh, almost fell off the roof at my grandparents. I was trying to get a toy helicopter down. Yep. Wow, don't let me bleed out! Seriously, I don't want to die and get a new character again. No offense, but yeah. I actually really grew attached to my characters after a while. I like this intro. Very nice. Whoa! This is. Oh! Wow, that's new. Uh, makes sense. You know, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, yeah, it's gonna pick up, become new, redone, and everything. What's the SID rep on New York? The Russian jamming rigs have neutralized our air support. As long as they maintain See, their we, flight, most people think we're going, going to go to war with China. No, I see Russia less. more often than not. Metal Zero One is up on Green Side. What is the Sandman? Come on. Glad to have you in our corner, Sandman. The Russians are using okay, electronic that's... countermeasures to jam I know that voice. I know that voice, but I can't place where. I need your team to destroy it. The jammer's full spectrum, so until it's down, I can't no radio contact. figure out why. I know I've heard it a dozen times on something. 
but I can't remember. If anyone knows who that voice is, if he plays a character outside of the Call of Duty modern Call of Duty series, please let me down and know down in the comments because either it's gonna hit me that I know who it is, or I'm gonna struggle trying to remember. Black Tuesday, August 17th. Sergeant Frost, Westbrook, Delta Force, Manhattan, New York. Yes! Sorry. It's, it's always New York that gets hit the worst. Shit. I hope this game is intense as the second one. Because I, I do have to find that first game, though. I got this, the second and the first one for my sister for Christmas. Uh, last year. No, no, 2016 was when I got it the first time. You know, she she wanted this these games for months. And then she she reads manga all the friggin' I hope I said that right. All the friggin' time. And now she won't even go near any of the games anymore. So I told her flat out, you ain't gonna play it, I might as well. Because I enjoy the Call of Duty series. My cousins were actually the um, ones who recommended the games to me. They would always talk about the uh Call of Duty series. So. And, uh, I, I just have to, like, sometimes renew my ability to actually play this. Or I, um, I get a little too rusty. My hands don't always function right. Some of the keys are always flopped around, like Crash Bandicoot. I enjoyed that series. I'll tell you guys now, that's what I grew up on. We had the PlayStation 1 for God knows how long. It was like the real first ever PlayStation that I ever really played. And I sucked at driving for a very long time. We had this uh, driving game where you competed against each other. My sister, she always won. And it miffed me off. I'm like, seriously? She was just like really good. And so then, I'd practice for days. Um, when I didn't have to go to school, I, I would practice nonstop. And so, she wouldn't be the only one who's like really good at it. So I, I always played, played it. I enjoyed the games. We'd have like the favorite games we'd play. Mine was the driving one, but I can't remember the name of it. I think my grandparents still have it. I think they still own it, but I don't know because they have a PlayStation 2. I know that because I can remember that. They uh, use it for movies and all. They either have a Blu-ray one for the normal things. I had one we were living with them for about a complete year. It was um, pretty hectic because we had a Wii originally, and then uh, we got a PlayStation 3 pre, pre used, pre on, because it was all we could ever really afford then. Still do. Our PlayStation 4 that I keep in my room because we have the PlayStation 3 out here. Yeah, see, I get blown up by grenades and cars. This time it wasn't a grenade. We can all agree on that. That's how often I die by. <laughs> was the car to this time. Yeah. Well, I don't mind sitting so far back here. But yeah, um, yeah, I would practice for days. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, I remember, um, that was like my first ever game I ever really played, and I was just obsessed with it. And then when I got really good at it, my sister could ride front, drive front field where you'd actually be looking behind your car, and not as the character. I remember her doing that all the friggin' time, and I'd be like, how can you drive like that? I can barely even stand it, and when I do, it's like... What's the point in driving this? I remember, I remember it like that all the time. 
and then um, we got re I got really good, and yeah, it was just, it was an awesome game. I can't remember the name, but if I find it, I'll have to tell you guys what it was, but yeah, um, but anyway, I enjoy games like this, really active, more, uh, you actually get really grown attached to them. My uncle, he played The Last of Us. I own it for PlayStation 3, but I haven't gotten around to play with it because I still have a bunch of other games that I own because I played like three different games at different times because I would get bored with one and I'd move on to the other because these are the only games that really keep me focused. My sister, she completed a game one time in three days. She would, would non-stop play. It was freaky. Never have I seen a person more obsessed with the game than her. That was like what she was good at. Because games like that kept her attention. For me, it's a little difficult. Um, I was playing Alien Isolation about ooh, two years ago? That meant more intense than I never thought. Because you know, I like the Alien movies. I enjoy them. Freaky as hell. But they are good. And uh, playing it for myself is quite fascinating. I actually use a playthrough as I play because I have a hard time sometimes doing things on my own because I've seen the playthrough so often. So I usually end up uh, watching a playthrough. For Call of Duty, you know, when I was playing Black Ops the first time around, I got stuck in where you, you're going over the side in Vietnam and you have to cut the barrel's tops and ignite them into flames. I didn't know that, and I wasn't really paying, paying attention to the hints they dropped about uh, the barrels. All I know is I remember the guy mentioning the barrels, the barrels, over and over for like 20 minutes before I ended up dying like 17 different times. And then, uh, finally got to the part where, um, could actually, um, I actually found a part that helped with the yeah, barrels. So I just remembering, remembered them being, like, a huge part of it. Firefly? There was a TV show called the Firefly. My mom owns the DVD set. The TV box for it. She, she would used to tell me about it all the time. And occasionally they'll play like that episode or two. I just remember it being like really huge. Like my mom, she has a lot of the older ones. Charmed, Golden Girls, that type of game. Those type of series. And now, she owns like the movie Twilight. <laughs> no offense to anyone who likes it, I just can't stand them, you know? I got crap that went on with that. Seriously, it was just one messed up story after another. It's like, seriously, what's the point of watching it when it's just sparkly little vampires? Seriously? I grew up on the myths. That's what I remember. I remember the yeah, myths and all that. I remember those. Other than that, there's nothing else. I don't know. I don't want to offend anyone who likes Twilight. I just, I don't like it. That's my opinion. You have yours. I have mine. That's how it goes. You know, people get too offensive just because of a comment nowadays. And you know, it kills me. It's like, seriously, it's just my comment. If you can't take it, don't listen to me. It's like my sister. You know, we have nicknames for each other. Me, I was called Bigfoot for a very long time. I had gigantic friggin' feet. I admit that. I don't take offense to the nickname. I admit it. I had some big feet. I'm an 11 in women's and in men's shoes. So, you know, I'm not really offensive. Offended by it, you know? My mom, that's what she called me as a kid. That and Snow White. I was, like, really, really pale as a child. I had rosy cheeks and red lips, but I was very pale. So you know, I'm not really offended by the name. You know, it's just something 
that I grew used to. You know, my mom had a bunch of nicknames for me as a child. I still do. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, okay. But yeah, you know? Nicknames and all that? I have a, quite a few different ones. Well, that's how I was raised. You know, I had a bunch of nicknames. Some that were really odd. Was, my daddy calls me Swamp Rat. I don't take offense to it, I just find it really funny. That's how he identifies us. That's the streets of the Bog Rat. I'm the Swamp Rat. <laughs> or as I come out of my cave when I want to. Yeah, we call her Rooms of the Caves. But yeah, you know, I had the nick. I have a bunch of nicknames. My friends once called me M and M's, and then um, I was called Hellhound, and the nickname Bigfoot still stuck because I can mimic the call. I'll have to show you guys once when I go to announce. You know. You know, that was the big thing. That was like my nicknames, you know? Of course, I was considered a lumberjack for a while. Oh. You know? You know, I don't honestly care what people call me, you know? I had my nicknames, and I don't really mind them. You know, except for a few that kind of treat me like a dog. Now, my mom calls me, um, it goes with my name. Um, I'm gonna regret saying it, Emmy Winnie. <laughs> Which is like the biggest nickname my mom calls me nowadays. Uh, when she wants something out of me. Normally I have to ask, what do you want? Like my dad, I have to like make deals with him and find the little loopholes in his deal. We had to do that for a while. I don't mind the loopholes in our deals. You know, I can find them pretty easily when I want to. You know? There's some that I don't mind. I actually know how to ignore the, uh, that one. I have no care in the world for it. That was like the biggest nickname I've had in a long time. You know? Know, but yeah, you know, people nowadays get so offended by the simplest friggin' things, and it kills me because you know, you know, I'm raised to have my own opinions, and I don't get really offended by the things people say. You know, there are some things that kind of offend me, but other than that, I really weren't offended by a whole bunch. I know 
nowadays people are so much so more afraid than anything nowadays. I mean, freaking kills me, you know? I don't really care what people think of me. You know, there are some times where I kind of want to know. But yeah, that's just normal for me. You know, I grew up things like this all the, all the time. You know, more action-packed, more uh, things, you know? Don't get offended by the simplest and stupidest things. You know, that's all I hear more often than not is like, I'm offended by the simplest things, you know? I don't honestly care. Some things ignore my rat. I seem to be not carrying a whole bunch anymore. You know? Old fashioned, you know? Uh, that's how my grandparents raised, how my mom was raised, you know? Tell Gorpin and look at us nowadays. I have. I had an uncle. I actually had an uncle who's kind of like that in a way. You know? And um, we went firewood cutting this year. That's your um, about August, maybe July, like normal. And, um, you know, we're carrying about 20 pounds of logs. And um, I don't do really well with heavy weights because of my back. Um, I fell off a horse as a child. My uh, uncle married a ranch hand. She's, she's freaking crazy now. You know, she's just, she's friggin' nuts. I don't know if she'll ever hear this, but yeah. You know? She's kind of crazy, but you know, she's family. I don't mind her. I really don't. It's just, you know, there's some things that I don't mind, and there's some things that I do. You know? But, you know. We're lifting these like 20 pound logs, and you know, this isn't the first time I've lifted logs that heavy. We've carried these big ass ones that weighed at least 100 pounds, at least. Multiple times. And you know, my back wasn't as bad as it is now, where I have to actually have therapy every other year. Anyway, I have a slight curve in my back, which actually this is a lot of back pain. But anyway, you know. I don't mind, it's just sometimes, you know, it was weaning down into the evening and normally we have an extra set of hands on us. But yeah, um, so, and I finally said I can't do it, I can't do it anymore, you know? I can only take so much and, you know, I was wearing some uncomfortable clothing that day, you know, and I couldn't breathe too well. You know, when I get hot, I get really crazy. And uh, I couldn't breathe. Most times I can. It's when I do extensive work and I get really, really short of breath because I don't do a whole lot of that. The only things I really do anymore are clean the kitchen, vacuum, lawn care. I go outside to mow. And, um, you know, sometimes I have to say, I can't do it. I need some help, you know? And he, he flat out tells me and my sister, because I'm in the back of the truck hauling these. Four, four inch logs at a time, four to eight inches long, on this wit hitch my grandpa made, because he's a pretty good inventor. There are some things that kill me, because the man, he's got back problems now, too, you know, he's getting up in old age. He's 70 now, I believe. And, uh, you know, it, it takes a toll on us all, cause, you know, I don't bend over too out, and if I get down, I ain't get back up. It's a lot like my mom. So, yeah. And, um, he flat out tells us, he's like, I'm sick of hearing that. That's all you two ever say. And, you know, we look at him, me and my sister, we share this look, because we had just filled their horse, horse trailer full of freaking logs, and it's like, seriously? You've got to be kidding me. We just did this, like, a week prior, so yeah, we're all sore still. And, you know, I got sunburned pretty bad on my face, my neck, and my upper chest, and on my back. You know, and I don't do a week heat. And second week, came back, spent the night there in the trailer. And, you know, it's summer, and it's pretty damn hot out there. And, you know, I would smelled something funny in that trailer. I tried to turn on the air, had no idea how the hell to do that. So, you know, we're roasting out there. 
and nothing but blankets. You know, heavy down, down feather blankets, comforter, and all that friggin' jerk, jack, jack squat. And I'm, and I don't take heat well. I never have and I never will. I hate it. I will literally get, I will literally feel like I've gotten a heat stroke. And I have no idea how that feels, but I swear I've had one because of that. I couldn't, I about vomited though while I was in there, you know, and I couldn't breathe. Every time I tried, it just, it backfired. And I finally just told my sister, I couldn't do it. I couldn't stay up there any longer. And I literally felt so ill. We had to go into the house and spend the night because I couldn't stay on that trailer any longer because of how sick I felt. You know, and I, I love trailer. That's what I'm gonna be in in the next few years. You know, I told my mom about a year and a half, a year ago, that I was going to be riding a trailer. I was going to get a trailer and I was going to be living in that while I traveled around the country. So, that may be soon, but I have no idea anymore. You know, and I flat out said, if this happens like it did this time, and you know, they swore last year was the last year we'd be doing firewood, and they completely friggin' lied to us. You know, they're getting up in age, my grandmother can't breathe anymore. And it's like, seriously, you swore to us this was the last friggin' time, and look what it's like most times I don't mind it, but seriously, when you lie to my face and tell me, because you know, about two weeks prior, it was about a week in, a week in between them, each uh, load of firewood, because they'd taken our cousin Logan earlier that uh, week, and he got, you know, they normally pay us for things like that, and our grandmother lied to our faces completely, and it pissed me off. And I'm like, you got to be kidding me. Are you serious? And our grandmother likes to hark on it. I know she's never going to watch any of my videos, so I'm not hopefully concerned. But she flat out told us that uh, we were doing this because it was our load, when it's completely not. And I was so pissed. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. This was for a lesson? Oh, no. No way. How was that going to be a lesson? So that was, I think this. You know, shit we did, because we, their neighbor came with us about two weeks prior. And, um, we did both his load and our load. And, you know, a lot of back pain I had for weeks. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. So this was just... You're joking, right? You know? And she loves to work on us. And I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. This is not what I wanted. And I thought, you know what? I'm done. Because I start working next year, I'll be up legally. Um, you know, I'll be legally 17. My mom wanted to wait till we were about 17 to work because she was really unsure if it would work. So, you know. So, you know, I'm just, I'm tired of being lied to by them. So, um, you know, I'm just, I'm so tired of being lied to by them. Because my grandmother is the only one making those decisions. And our grandfather never stands up for us for it. Because all she does is heart and heart and heart about everything we've done in the, for our mom, you know? We used to fight like putting cats and dogs. So you know it wasn't really new to us. You know there are some things that piss me off all the friggin' time and that's 
being lied to by them. I am so tired of being compared to everyone. That's what our grandmother does. You know, we have two other female cousins who our grandmother loves to brag about. And, you know, I am, like, tired of being compared to them because they're so much younger. Because they do so much better than us and things like that. You know? And it's like, seriously, what's the point of even being with you when you just brag about everything? And I'm just so tired of it. It kills me. I'm just like, fuck it, I'm just gonna be quiet because there's no point in talking to her ever about things like that because she takes so offensive to it. And I'm just like, I don't care anymore. Go ahead. Say what you want because I don't care anymore. I've given up trying to even talk to her, you know? We don't tell her anything about ourselves anymore, you know? For Christmas, she... Oh, I'm not going to get into that. Anyway, that's kind of the crap I've been dealing with since Christmas. Actually, I've been dealing with that shit for a very long time. I tell my mom, don't ever leave me with her alone. Because when you do, she, she, oh my god. I won't because this just gets me into rant. It pisses me off, so I'm going to shout talking about that. About that topic anymore. Knowing me, I'll probably yap it again about it sooner or later. But yeah. Anyway. I'm just, yeah, I'm just tired lately. During the winter, I get like. It's not really depressed, more a tired feeling I get during the winter where I don't have the urge to do anything. And it just, summer, yeah, to like spring and uh, autumn, uh, fall, I'll, I'll have energy, but during the winter, I don't. It's just odd. It goes for our, my mom, me and my sister, we all have that feeling now and again during winter. You know, last winter I got really stressed and I broke down crying three different times that morning because of being overly stressed because I was cleaning everything I was cooking for my sister and my dad and I had little to no freaking help at the time. I still don't now. And, um, you know, my dad, he was sick. He was catching a cold every other freaking day. I got a cold from him, so I had a crappy night slip Christmas Eve. I couldn't breathe. I gave up with everything. So, 20, about three days later, our mom comes home and, you know, last winter, anyone who's heard about Idaho, we got hit with a huge snowstorm. We were trapped in our houses for quite a while and I had my semester finals online too. So I'm actually quite happy we're having that again, but we don't have like inches of snow where we can't get out of the houses. It's more of a present, I think. I have no idea. But yeah, I do that have my finals and you know I gave up you know I had a medication that was screwing with my emotions at the time um, I'm not sure if anyone's had a medication that's done that before but I had one and it uh, made me cry all the time and I couldn't take it anymore I'm like I don't want to cry why do I want to freaking cry every time so you know Grandmother, you know, we're trying to dig our mother's car out. And, uh, you know. And, you know, I'm just, I'm in tears when she starts telling me to unload things. And, you know, I broke down. And I, our mom, you know, she had ankle surgery, so she's telling her to back off because I was doing it. I was just overly emotional. But, yeah. Our grandmother calls me to break down a lot. She calls to set to me all this freaking time. And I'm just tired of it, you know? You know, she's the only person who does that to me. Who causes me to be such, so stressed out that I want to break down and just cry. But yeah. My mom's side of the family is kind of mean. I would say another word, but I can't. But yeah. Only my mom's parents do that to me, but I, I love my aunt and uncle on my mom's side. 
I can't stand my mom my mom's brother though. Hopefully. So yeah. I just break down crying a lot because of her side of the family. My uh, dad's mom and uncle. Mom. Her. I, I love my mom. My dad's mom. You know, she's the best grandma I could have. It's just my mom's parents that I can't. I can't do it. You know, they stress me out. And they freak me out too much, you know. And, yeah. I just, you know. We, because... I know Christmas Eve they were talking about going firewood cutting again this summer. I'm like, too bad, I'm getting a job. No way in hell. I don't care. You know, I know that's insensitive to those. But if any of you knew what my mom's parents were like, you could understand why I wouldn't want to be with them. Because they stress me out so bad. And I feel so depressed sometimes with them. You know, I've had a shrink. You know, I don't like shrinks. I really don't. You know, I don't do shrinks. They're not me, you know. I had one shrink and I couldn't do it again. You know, I told mom, my mom, I will never see another shrink ever. They are, they just weren't right for me. They just never really right for me. You know, I had issues with my cousin. You know, I had issues with my mom's side of the family, her brother, his wife, and her parents. My grandpa, my mom's dad, I don't mind him too much, you know, but it's my mom's mother. I can't do it. So, you know, but yeah. I know that sounds bitchy, but seriously, if you knew what they were like, you'd understand. But yeah, you know. I just couldn't do it anymore. You know, there are some things that I'm okay with, but seriously, the things that you do to me, I, I Anyway. You know, I've been boating. I actually like boating. My grandpa owned a. My mom's dad owned a boat. It was always giving them trouble. But you know, I enjoyed it. We'd, we'd pick a day and we, all us kids and parents would go um, boating for a day. You know, it was such a fun affair. I miss it. But no, my grandpa had to sell his boat because he couldn't keep up with the repairs. It cost so much. I like boating. I really do. You know, so there's that. So, I have some issues with my uh, mom's parents, but yeah, that's, that's on me. You know, I don't want anyone else having to feel like that. But you know, but with them, I feel so useless. You know? So that's just me. You know, this is like an outlet. You know, I only tell my mom so much about what they do, so... I have um, some issues with people, you know, I'm socially anxious now and again, things like that, you know, that's kind of normal because I'm homeschooled, you know, so it's like the other thing my mom wanted us to do to get a job, that way to help with bills and all that, money, that thing. And, you know, I like her idea. I really do. You know, because we have a wood stove. I know some of you have heard me mention it when I have to go put something in it. But, you know, 
I still have a whole bunch of issues with it. I freaked out once. It wasn't too pretty. Oh my god, it reminds me of Star Trek. I don't know why, but it just does. Anyone else who gets the reference, but yeah. But yeah. That's what it really reminds me of. Sorry guys. I hear really um sneezing. <laughs> oh. Sorry guys. Of course, I this off. Oh god, it's twitching again. My eye twitches. So my eye twitches. I know something's coming. We did that when we were living with our grandparents. Every time they'd come home for going to the mountains, my eyes. My left eye would always twitch, and that's when I knew they'd be coming home. But yeah. That's just the odd quirk of my end. Sorry. Yeah, and plus I get really, really sneezy. So yeah. Come on! Sorry. My temper gets really, really short sometimes. like that, that's not English, I promise. Whoa. I am not getting crushed. But yeah. My, me and my sister, we came up with that. I think it, because I know twins come up with secret languages, I think that may have been ours. But I have no idea. And all I know is that we say it a lot. I am going, damn it! <laughs> that was badass, man. Forever. Yeah. Reminds me of World World War Z. That was a good movie. All friendly call signs. We are no longer on the defensive. I repeat, consolidate and counterattack. Sorry guys. I think my cat got me in my sleep again. Yeah, I wake up with the oddest marks. I've actually woken up with a Mark for my watch, I think. Men willing to stand against the tide. Price, we got vital signs, but they're weak. Some point to us without proper attention. He's a hard bastard. Trust me, he'll make it. <laughs> yeah. Picking up inbound signatures. We've got company. It's Makarov. He's tying up loose ends. Who's your best man? Yuri. It's Spitznaz. Only man I know who hates Makarov more than you. <laughs> cool. Use the reach line for cover and fly in from the south. Cool. 
is what I do. Wow, this is getting really intense very quickly. But I don't understand why, you know? Just... Approve a... I have no idea. Well, guys, I'm going to have to end it here. I'll pick up with another episode sooner or later. See ya!